How do I play? How do I play? How do I play? Oh, me. What's that badge? How do I get that? How do I play? How do I play this game? How do I play this game? How do I get that? Tell us. I want to get that. How do you get that? How do I get that? It's right. Today, I am going to be teaching you five tips about Eve's hiding seat. And you may have known these, you may have not known these. But let me tell you, the tips will get progressively better as we continue the video. So be sure to watch all the way to the end. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and whatever. Alright, let's get right into the video. Now this is the main one, there is another one in the snow map, but this one has to be one of the most important. Let me explain. You have all these different blocks here to choose from. Which ones do you want? For instance, all your people say, I want a firework, right? And so it's like amazing, it's 800 buck coins, save up, within like 4 days you'll have it. But that is not how it works. First, you have to choose a path. You see, first you gotta buy this. And then if you want the firework, right? You gotta buy this, and 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 this. All this is the firework. Or you can take a different path. I always recommend buying these pillows. They're very helpful. For building and for anything like that. Very helpful. This board called Daily Challenges. And basically, if you complete all your daily challenges, you can get a total of 200 buck coins. So every one of these things costs buck coins. So that's 800. That's 800. But you'll get 200 if you complete all your challenges. So you have to do. See these? There are five in each map. Not all of them are obvious chests like this. Some of them are going to be hidden, such as in flowers or anything like that. But they're, they will give you buck coins. I think it's like 20 or 30. Anyway, they're super. On to the next tip. But the next tip has to be if you can join the Discord here. There, deep Discord, just by clicking that little button. It's very helpful. There's always people in there. I don't want to talk you. If you have any questions about the game, I'll put it there. And also, if you're a content creator like me, you can join the content creator program in Eves. It's a fun way. They give you video ideas. So if you're also like me and you can never think of a video idea, they'll give you video ideas to help you and a bunch of other stuff. So that's really cool. All right, so here's a reinforced pillow. Let me show you the difference and the reason you should use a reinforced pillow. Bruh. You're banned, Bouncy Castle. I'm banning you. Okay, now here are reinforced pillows. This is why you should use reinforced pillows versus normal pillows. Here is a sticky explosive bomb. If I throw it, it blows up and destroys all blocks. See, it destroyed them. But, what happens with the reinforced pillars? Try however hard you want, it will not destroy them. A bat won't destroy them. Even this won't destroy them. The only way to destroy these is by eating them, as people say. Alright, now it's your turn to find me. And yes, that's right, I am somewhere in this frame. You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. I was inside of this block. Now, if you ask me, you can't go in it. It's solid. Well, if you destroy the block and you place it on yourself, you can see out, and you're basically like no light. But no one else will be able to see you inside the block. And when you walk out, Everyone else can see. So it's a good temporary hiding place. But just know, if you're playing with skilled people, they'll know that to destroy the blocks. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you think your favorite part of the video was. Tell me if I missed anything, or if you have any other tips, or if you found this video helpful.